This is the Animal Health Flagship presentation. In addressing the question of what is changing within the flagship, it should be remembered that much of the work within the Animal Health Flagship is long-term in nature, and thus the changes and impacts are not always immediate. One of the things that is starting to happen is that the value chain animal health assessments are starting to guide and initiate new research areas. This was a basic premise of the CRP. Key assessments have been undertaken in Tanzania, Uganda, Ethiopia, with some work in the Egypt and Bangladesh value chains. It is expected that the animal health assessments for the other value chains will be undertaken as resources become available. Some examples here include research to look at the effect of infectious diseases on reproductive performance in Tanzania, a project which arose out of a study undertaken in the genetics flagship and which is a good example of collaboration between flagships. There is also exploration of synergies between livestock and fish health and one proposed activity is to look at the role of streptococci in tilapia mortality in Egypt. More recently, there have been increased resources to develop best bet protocols to improve herd health in the value change, which may lead to some immediate impacts. In terms of what changes have been influenced by the flagship, it should be noted that the role of the flagship is to generate data and products which eventually can be used to address animal health constraints in the value chains. As mentioned, much of this is long term and thus the resultant changes are also long term. One example where change is being influenced by the flagship is in Uganda, where evidence showing that the raising of pigs can generate additional income and contribute to poverty reduction has raised awareness of the smallholder pig industry and development actors are looking at the value chain approach to assess the impact of infectious diseases in Uganda. When reflecting on the flagship performance in terms of outputs and development and research outcomes, it should be emphasised that most of the outputs are peer-reviewed scientific papers, reports or protocols, for example, to improve biosecurity protocols, and ultimately the biological materials which will be incorporated into, for example, vaccines and diagnostic assays. These primarily influence other researchers, development partners and government departments, and ultimately private manufacturers. Some examples which have been generated within the flagship include the development of an improved diagnostic assay for contagious bovine pleuroneumonia and material for distribution to improve pig health and management in Uganda. Thank you.